Hello Travelers, welcome back to the Traveler's Diary. Today, we're ditching the hustle and bustle for the misty hills and cascading beauty of Sri Lanka. This island nation in the Indian Ocean isn't just about beaches and tea plantations. Sri Lanka is a waterfall wonderland with hidden gems tucked away in emerald valleys and gushing down from lush mountains. So, grab your bags, pack your sense of adventure, and get ready to be mesmerized by the power and serenity of Sri Lanka's waterfalls. Today, we are going to visit three of the most famous waterfalls in Sri Lanka, which have won the most tourist attraction in Sri Lanka. First, we are going to see famous Golboda Falls, the Stone Guardian, Coming by public transport, you can take the bus until you reach this abandoned tea factory. The famous Golboda Railway Station is located right here. From here, you have to take the road to the left. If you are coming by train, you can cross the railway line and join this road right in front. kilometers on this road that goes through the tea estates from this beautiful mountain valley there is a ticket counter about two kilometers from the tea factory after buying a ticket from there we have to go forward about 300 meters There's a beautiful vibe bridge here, where you can enjoy a beautiful view of the waterfall. A majestic 30-meter cascade nestled at Nualapishia in the Nuwara Lea district. This beauty isn't just about the height, though. Its name, meaning fall adjoining the stone, comes from the massive boulder guarding its base, adding an air of ancient mystery. Golboda's magic unfolds during the wet season May to October, when the falls transform into a roaring torrent, spraying rainbows in the mist. But even in the dry season, it's a sight to behold, with water gracefully cascading down the rocks. To get to Golboda Falls, you can take the train from Colombo to Badula, and get off at Golboda Station. There is also a bus that operates from the Wallapishia to near Golboda Station, a nearly 2 kilometers walk leads you to the falls. Let's enjoy this beautiful waterfall for a while.
This is the Golgota Railway Station on the famous Badula, Colombo Railway Line. There was no train when we arrived, so we came back to the Wallapishia by bus. Waterfall near the Wallapishia Institute of Technology. Golothi Ella Falls, the playful giant. Also known as Heitenford Falls and Sudagala Falls, this playful giant stands over 50 meters tall and 60 meters wide in the wall of Hishia. Unlike Kalboda's serene power, Kalothe Ella's water playfully slides down a slanting rock bed, ending in a shallow pool that's perfect for a dip, especially for the little adventurers. Remember, caution is key here. The water can be strong, and there are rocks in the pool, so supervise children closely and enjoy the fun responsibly. Reaching Galpathe Ella is a breeze. Take a bus from Nawalapishia. The falls are just 5 kilometers away, waiting to be discovered. If you are going to see the Galboda waterfall by bus, you can also see this waterfall. Let's go find our next stop. In addition to these places we are going to today, there are many more beautiful places around here. Ambuluvala, Kothmali Great Stupa, Kothmali Reservoir and Dunsanen Falls, a few of them. If you are also visiting the Wallapishia, try to visit some of these places. Falls, the Triple Threat. Finally, we have Katayonlinaela Falls, also known as Katabulaela Falls. This isn't just one waterfall, it's a trio of cascading beauties, located in the Nuwara Alia district. Katayonlinaela stuns with its three distinct segments, each with its own pool, all connected by the Katayonlinaela River. The first two segments are separated from the third by a charming old arch bridge, adding to the fall's unique character. Imagine the photo ops, getting to Katayonlinaela, simple. Take the bus from Nawalapishia to Kotmal, and waterfall is near the road. You can watch the waterfall from bus. So there you have it, three of the most beautiful waterfalls in Sri Lanka. If you're ever in Sri Lanka, be sure to check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me which Sri Lankan waterfall you'd love to visit the most. And until next time, happy exploring. Thanks for watching.